Hello and welcome to this video. This video is going to be a project walkthrough. I'm just going to make a keychain. However, I have some material left over from another job. This is acrylic gold mirror. It's a little more expensive, so I want to make sure I use all this space up. Um, now, rather than going through and framing every little spot to make sure that it fits, uh, I'm actually going to get help with a camera that I have set up through Lightburn. So if you're not familiar with the camera, um, you can just use any USB camera and plug it into your computer and Lightburn should be able to pick it up. What I have is a wide angle lens. My bed is a little bit bigger and the lid is pretty close to my bed. So I needed something to capture most of that bed size. Um, it's as easy as plugging it in. If you go through Lightburn's website, they'll give you recommendations on what will be appropriate for your laser machine. And it's just as easy as plugging it in. So super simple. And once you do have that plugged in, you can go to Lightburn. Um, first thing you want to do is go ahead and calibrate the camera lens. Um, Lightburn's pretty good. If it'll just walk you through some steps to take, you'll select your camera. Um, if you buy their camera through their website, they have presets, which makes it uh, super easy to set up initially right off the bat. There are presets you select depending on what you purchased. Um, once you select that preset or go through the step process using a different camera, your next step would be to calibrate the camera alignment. So this is another thing that's just going to walk you through the process of burning some targets basically onto a piece of paper. And then once those are burned, you'll capture the image with your camera and then click on the targets. And that'll basically calibrate your camera so that way it, it, it's spot on accuracy. So you'll be able to just select your design, drag it to where you want, and you know it's going to burn right there. So now that I have the material in place, it's already on my bed. Uh, what I'm going to do is open up the project that I want to finish. I have some keychains that are great for using scraps like this, especially with my Lightburn camera. Um, this is something I sell on Etsy, and it's a great way to make a couple extra bucks with some material that you might just have to throw away if you didn't have a project like this. So uh, first thing you want to do is go to your camera control tab that's in the top right corner of your Lightburn and select your camera. Uh, after you do that, go ahead and just click Update Overlay, and that'll give you an image of what is on your bed at the moment. Um, you'll see right here, I'm going to squeeze it in right at the top part. It's just the perfect amount of space to put one keychain. And if you look along the top, I could do, you know, two, three more just running across right there. And just like that, you could turn that wasted space into, you know, 5 to $15, depending on what you sell it on Etsy for. So now that we have it in place, let's go ahead and get started. So now that the job is starting, you could tell right away that it is fitting perfectly where we placed it. That's right above the stars and in between the W and negative space. Now, prior to having a camera, you would use the frame function, which works great. But however, if I wanted to utilize all of this space, that can take a lot of time just trying to squeeze one little piece here or there. Um, so having the camera makes it really easy to actually do this. Another cool feature about having the camera installed on your laser is that you could actually view what's going on inside your machine by just taking a look at your camera control panel. Uh, it's really cool to see this on your monitor in action, so just another cool feature about it. One thing to take note is that I did do this in Lightburn, which means if you're looking at getting a laser for the first time, you want to make sure you get one that is Lightburn compatible. Um, that would be any of the machines with the Ruida controller. Just off the bat, you'll be able to use Lightburn, uh, install it, and then have access to the camera. Well, that's it for this project video. Uh, this video, I just wanted to show you how awesome it is to have a camera and some of the reasons why I use it. Um, I like to make sure that I use every inch of space that I can of material, especially if it's expensive. So having the camera definitely helps out with this one. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know down below in the comments. We'll do our best to get back to you. Um, and if you did enjoy that video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks.